Hello and welcome to another Craig Loves to Crochet tutorial. My name is Tonya and today the tutorial is going to be um, how to make these wonderful trio of little cute daisies. So each daisy builds on the other so we have a six petal daisy here which then builds on to make an eight petal daisy and then a ten petal daisy. Each daisy is made from 100% cotton um, the reason I've used 100% um, cotton is because it holds its crisp shape of the daisy and it can be machine washed and dried with ease whilst retaining its perfect shape and colour. This is a wonderful, easy, versatile pattern. You can play with the colour, the yarn ply and the hook size to make variations of daisies. And this is going to be the start of a series of other tutorials where I'm going to make lots of various things using this basic, these basic daisy patterns. Okay, so let's have a look at the materials that we will need then to make these trio of daisies. So I'm using a double knit light worsted weight cotton. This one here is Wendy and I know this one here is um, by Patterns, but there are various other brands out there and they're generally as, as, good, as, as good as each other. 100% um, cotton is the best, like I've said. So let's put those out of the way for a moment. Okay, so the hook size that I've chosen to do this basic motif, and like I've said, you can vary your hook sizes and the, and the um, weight of your yarn, but this one is a 40 millimeter hook, um, G in US terms. Um, we have some scissors, always need scissors, a yarn hook, a yarn needle, I apologize for sewing in your ends. And if you want to, you can use some stitch markers just for when we're working in the round here. That's optional. And I'm just going to measure these daisies just to give you an idea of how, how big they are. So for my six petal daisy, it's 10 centimeters. That'll be four inches. For my middle daisy, um, nearly almost 11 centimetres. Let me just have a wee look. Four and a half virtually inches almost. And the 10 centimetre, the 10 petal daisy is 11 and a half centimetres. Let me just double check to see. And a half. And that is just over four and a half inches. Okay, so I think we should get started. So we're going to start by working in the round first and I've chosen my yellow. So we're going to build each daisy by building on the round. So we'll start off with, with the six petal daisy. Then we'll continue to make the eight petal daisy and again to make the 10 petal daisy. So let's get started. Okay then, so I often start when I'm working in a round by using an adjustable ring. I have um, a wonderful tutorial and I've put the link down below if you need to, but basically I wrap the yarn around my fingers like so and pull the yarn off so you have a little crisscross. I take my hook and put it through the, the ring, pull the yarn through and then slip stitch like so. So that's the beginning of our adjustable ring. But like I said, I have a, a more detailed um, tutorial down below, the links down below. I'll put it in the box. Okay, so we're going to start by making six single crochets or in UK terms, that would be six double crochets into our ring. So let's go ahead. So we put our, our hook into the adjustable ring pick up our yarn and pull it through, 
pick up our yarn again and pull it through the two loops on the hook. Rather simple. And again, put our hook into the ring, picking up our yarn and pulling it through the ring. So we have two pieces of yarn on our hook and then we pick up our yarn and pull it through again. And we're going to do that until we've got six single crochets. So now oops, we'll have three, four, five, and six. Okay, right. So we'll just pull that through out a little bit. And with our little end here, we are going to pull our end and that's to pull our little ring tight. There we go. Right, now what we're going to do to start our round, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet like so. So the way we slip stitch is we put our hook into that single crochet. We're going to pick up our yarn and we're going to pull it through that single crochet like so and then we're going to pull it straight through the next loop that's on our hook like so. Now we're going to start working in the round. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. So in our next single crochet we're going to crochet two single crochets. So we're going to pick up our yarn and pull it through. We're going to pick up our yarn again and we're going to pull it through those two loops. And we're going to do two in the same stitch. So we're going to do that again. We're going to do that all the way around. So we will have 12 stitches. So we have two now. So we're going to go into the next single crochet we're going to do two more single crochets in that in, in that stitch. So now we have four single crochets in this round. We're going to go into our next stitch. We're going to single crochet two into this stitch again. So that will be five, six, like so. In the next stitch, we'll do seven and eight. So seven, eight, in the next stitch we'll do nine and ten, nine and ten, and the last two, our last single crochet just here. It's always hard when you first start off, I think. So we'll do 11 and 12. Oops. So that's our first round done. Now we're going to slip stitch into this little stitch here. Going to slip stitch to finish off this round. So we're going to put our hook into this little stitch. We're going to pick up our yarn. We're going to pull it through that stitch and pull it straight through the loop on the hook. And there we go. So that's our first round finished. So we've made 12 single crochets. So the next round that we're going to do is as follows. So we're going to go into our next single crochet here and we're going to do two single crochets. So one and two. In the next stitch, in the next single crochet, we're just going to do one single crochet. So one single crochet. So we now have three. Then we're going to do two in the next stitch. So that makes four and five, so four and five in the next stitch. And then we're going to do one in the next stitch. So that's six 
going to do seven and eight in the next stitch. So seven and eight single crochet, so seven and eight. Then in the next one, we're just going to do one single crochet. So that's nine, nine. Then in the next single crochet along, we're going to do 10 and 11. So 10 and 11. I'm actually crocheting over my end as well, which makes it a lot easier. And then in the next stitch, one. So that will be make it the 12th single crochet. And then the next stitch along. 13 and 14, 13 and 14 in the same stitch, so one single crochet, so that would be 15, two single crochets in the next one, so 16 and 17, And in the last one, that would be 18. So, oh, a bit stiff that one, wasn't it? For me anyway. So 18. So you have done 18 single crochets. And we need to slip stitch into the next stitch, tiny little stitch along, and that will end the second round. Now then, for the six petal daisy we need to stop there because that's as big as our round needs to be for six petals but we're going to continue and we're going to do a third round and that round will be for our eight petal daisy so let's continue on and i'll show you how we'll, we'll go on to doing the petals in a moment so let's put our daisy over there and continue round Right, for, so for the next round, we need 20 single crochets all the way, 24, sorry, single crochets all around. So the way we get that 24 single crochets is as follows. So we're going to go into our next single crochet. I'm going to zoom in a wee bit again, like I did earlier on. So this time we're going to do two single crochets in our next stitch. One, two, not forgetting that in UK terms this is a double crochet but I'll put all of those details as we're working along under down the bottom here in text. And then we're going to do two single crochets, one in each of the next two stitches. So one in this one and one in the stitch along. So now we have four single crochets. Two in the same stitch. So four, five, six. So five and six go into this next stitch. And then one in the next two. So five, six, one in here, which makes seven. And one in the stitch along, which makes eight. Then two in the next stitch again, in the same pattern. So nine and 10, nine and 10. And then 11 and 12 in the next two stitches. So one in this one, 11, one in the next one, 12. 13 and 14 in the same stitch. Then 15 and 16 in the next two. So 15 in this stitch and 16 in the stitch along. Two in the next stitch. 17 and 18. Then one in the next two, 19 and 20. Two in the next one along, 21, 
22. We're nearly at the end. 23, 23rd single crochet in that one, and then the last one, 24, and we're finished. And we're going to slip stitch into the sti next stitch along, so this little stitch here. And that is the end of the third round. And then we will be, this is the round that we need to stop at to do our eight petal and daisy here. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is our 10 petal daisy and that's quite important because I made my coasters using this one. So if I show you my coasters here, and this is going to be the next tutorial, these are my 10 petal coasters and they're in their lovely little um, coaster bowl as well. So that's what we're going to do for our next tutorial. Alrighty, so we need to do one more round, so this will be our fourth round. We need to make 30 single crochets all the way around for our 10 petals. So the way we do that is with the next sequence. So as always, we're going to do two single crochets into the first single crochet stitch. So one, two. You can see how this is a great project for a beginner, can't you? Because it's repetitively working on the same stitches. Then in the next three stitches, we're going to be doing one single crochet in each stitch. So a single crochet in this stitch, a single crochet in the next stitch, and a single crochet in the following stitch, like so. So now we have five stitches. So we're going to continue in that pattern all the way around. So we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. So one, two. So that will make, the, make our stitch count up to seven. And then three single crochets in each of the next three. So seven, then we're going to eight, nine, and then 10. Then we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, couldn't be simpler really, could it? So that'll make it 12. And then we're going to do three single crochets, one in each of the next three stitches. So 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we're halfway now. Right, so two single crochets in the next stitch. Making our stitch, stitch count up to 16. And then one stitch in each of the next three. One, two, and three. That last one there. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch along. And then that's the end. So what we're going to do now, I'll just zoom out a wee bit as we're going to snip the end. We're going to pull that along and we'll combine this end when we're doing our petals. Okay, so that's the, that's the first part done, completed. So we've done the center of our gorgeous little daisy. And now what we need to do is we need to work on these wonderful petals. So we need to be adding in our white yarn. Okay, so I have my white cotton and you can add your yarn to any part on this round. I usually add it sort of somewhere around here so that I, I can work, work a, a petal maybe before I get to the end. But really it is totally up to you, whatever you find works. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach our yarn into one of these stitches here. We're going to put our hook into the top 
of one of our single crochets here through both of the parts of the stitch and we're going to take our yarn and we're going to just hook it over our hook like so and we're going to pull that yarn through. We're going to take hold of the little end and we're just going to hold that fast and so we're going to be using the working end of our yarn. So I have hold of my little end at the back here. I can't, I don't think you can see. Let me pull that out. So I'm, oh my goodness. So I'm holding this end at the back here and we're going to be using our working end from now on. So put my hook back into the loop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one chain so I'm going to pick up my yarn and pull it through that loop like so and you can just tug on that end if you want to at the back and I'm going to chain one again like so and then I'm going to single crochet into the same stitch so one single crochet into that stitch double crochet in UK terms so now we have fastened our yarn and we're going to do another single crochet into the next stitch along. You can work over that piece of yarn at the back if you want to, just to secure it in a bit more. Like so. Okay. Right. Now we're ready to rock and roll. So what we have done is we've slipped stitched our yarn into any stitch that we found and then we have chained one and we've single crocheted into the next stitch along. Now what we need to do is we need to chain five. So we need to chain five. So one, two, three, four, Five. Now what we need to do is we need to count down one, two, three, four. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit to do this so that you can see I don't want to be in confusion. So let me get into, so we're going to count down one, two, three, four. So this in here is the stitch that we're going to be working in in a second. Let me take my hook out. So we put our hook, my hook into that loop again. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to zoom out again now. I can't work so close up, I need a bit of working some room. Is we're going to, now we've now we've found which one is the fourth chain, is we're from from the loop, we're going to put our hook into that chain like so and we're going to pick up our yarn and we're going to single crochet into that fourth chain and we're going to go into the next chain so the fifth chain and we're going to put in our hook and we're going to pick up our yarn and we're going to single crochet into that chain and then we're going to go back into the original stitch where the single crochet was so in here, let me just zoom in again. So in here, into the original stitch here, we're going to single crochet to finish off. And this is making our little stem that we're going to be doing our petals on. We're going to be making our petals on. So. We're going in the next stitch along, we're going to single crochet. We're going to be doing this a few times, so you will you will pick it up. We're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in the next stitch along. And then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch along again. And we're going to chain five. So one, two, 
three, four, five. We are going to count down to find our fourth stitch. So one, two, three, four, like we did in the last time. We're going to put our hook into that stitch. We're going to pick up our yarn and we're going to single crochet. And we're going to repeat that into the next stitch, into the next chain stitch, like so. And then we're going to single crochet into, back down into the original single crochet. And that completes our second stem for our petals. Right, so this is going to be a little tricky because we have to negotiate our way around this little slip stitch here. So I actually have another stitch to go into. So we need to do our slip stitch, our single crochet, sorry. Our chain one. And my single crochet is actually going to fall onto that slip stitch there. So I'm going to put my hook into there and slip stitch and a single crochet. Why do I keep saying that? And then pulling that tight and then I need to single crochet into the next stitch along and then I've negotiated myself along there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do five chain again. So one, two, three, four and five. We're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook, from, from the hook, so one, two, three, four, into that little stitch there. We're going to pick up our yarn and pull it through. So we have two loops on our hook. To pick up our yarn and pull through those two loops and that's our first single crochet and we're going to do exactly the same in our fifth chain. So we're going to put our yarn into the fifth chain loop, picking up our yarn and pulling it through, have two loops on our hook, pick up our yarn and pull through the next two loops on the hook and that's our second single crochet done. And then we're going to put our, yarn, our hook into the beginning of the single crochet and single crochet into that stitch again. And so we have it right. We're going to repeat this again. So we need to single crochet into the next stitch along. I bet you know, I bet you can tell me now. We're going to chain stitch, single crochet again into the next stitch along. Yes, you've got it. Single crochet into the next stitch along. And I can hear you saying, yep, we need to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to count down. One, two, three, four. We're going to single crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. Single crochet. And we're going to single crochet into the fifth chain from the hook. And we're going to single crochet back into that original single crochet again. There you go. It's easy, isn't it? So we have one, two, three, four stems now. We need to repeat that all the way around. So I'm going to continue until I'm round to about here to the end. And then I'll show you how we finish off. Hello, so welcome back. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm just finishing my tenth stem on my daisy. So basically, I've finished um, completing my single crochet into my fifth chain, and I'm going to single crochet into the stitch, the same stitch that we started off with. I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch along, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch 
into this top stitch here. So we have a little stitch there and we're just going to slip stitch into this stitch to finish off that round like so. Okay, so that's the end of that round. Now to start our next round what we're going to do is slightly more slightly more complicated but it's nothing to worry about once you get the hang of it you'll be fine so in each of our in each of our stems we're going to be working up the right hand side first we're going to be working in the top of our stem to make the little round petal and then we're going to be working down the left hand side of our stem and that's easier because you can actually see the stitch formation. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a half double crochet or a half treble in UK terms. And again, I'll put the text stuff in the box down here. So we're going to pick up our yarn and we're going to keep a hold of our little stem between our finger and thumb. And we're going to put our hook into this little space here. It's like a little stitch here. We're going to pick up our yarn and we're going to pull it through that space. So we have three loops on our hook. We're going to pick up our yarn and we're going to pull it all the way through those three loops. So that's our first stitch completed. Now we're going to pick up our yarn and we're going to do a double crochet or a treble in UK terms. And we're going to go into that same space and we're going to work that stitch. So when we go, we're going to pick up our yarn and pull it through. So we have three loops on our hook. This time we're going to pick up our yarn and only pull through two loops, as you know, if you're familiar with this stitch, and then pick up your yarn and pull through the last two loops. So we have made the first part of our petal. Now then, if we have a little look along here on our stem, we have another little space just here. You have to make your little spaces yourself, um, more or less. They are there. So we're going to work our next stitch into the next two stitches into this space, and we're going to do two double crochets, or in UK terms, two trebles. So we're going to pick up our yarn before we before we go in, and we're going to go into this little space here. We're going to pick up our yarn and pull it through. We're going to pick up our yarn and pull through the first two loops and pick up our yarn and through the second two loops and then we're going to go into that same space again and make another double crochet. So picking up our yarn, it's easier the second time because you've already made the, the space. Okay, and through the first two loops and the second two loops. So you've already made your first side of the petal now. In the top of our petal we have like a little stitch at the top here. It's got two little parts to it. So that's where we're going to go next. Okay, so in this one we're going to do four double crochets because we want a nice round daisy petal. So we're going to pick up our yarn, we're going to put our hook into the top of our stem. We're going to pick up our yarn and pull it through three loops on our hook, pick up our yarn and pull through the first two loops and then the second two loops. Right. And we're going to do that another three times because we want four because we want a nice round daisy. So back in through the first two, through the second two, so that's two. I'm going to do it again to make three. You're going to have a great satisfaction when you see that you've done this. And I've had so many emails from people saying, I love your pattern, but I keep getting the petals wrong. So now we should be able to work together. Now then, so we've done our right side up our petal. We've done our little top, our round bit. And now we're going to come all the way down to our, on our left hand side. Now this is super easy because you can actually see the two stitches. So we're going to be going into this one here and we're going to be going into this one here. 
So what we need to do is we need to mimic what we've just done on our right hand side. So we need to pick up our yarn and we're going to do two double crochets or trebles in UK terms into the next stitch down. So one double crochet and two double crochets into that one there. Super duper. And in the next stitch down we're going to do another single crochet. No we're not. We're going to do another double crochet. And we're going to do a half double crochet, picking up our yarn, putting it into the loop, pick up our yarn and pull through. Have three loops on our on our hook. Oops, pull, pulling my, my yarn up. And then we're going to pick up our yarn and pull through all three loops. Yeehaw! We've got a lovely petal already made. Now then, do you recall that when we did the last round, we did our stem, we single crocheted into the same single crochet, then we single crocheted into the next one, chained, and then single crochet. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into each one of those chains in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to find that little space. There it is. I found you. I'm going to pick up our yarn and pull it through and then pull it straight through the loop on our hook. Now that is finished. And then we're going to go on and repeat what we've just done into the next stem along. So let's do it again together, shall we? So here's our stem. And this is the space that we're going to go into first. I've been doing it for quite a long time now as I've, as I've been perfecting this pattern so the, the, the actual spaces seem to pop out at me but it will happen the same for you, you'll just get into your own little rhythm. So we need to pick up our yarn because in this space first of all we're going to be doing our half double crochet. So in we go. Picking up our yarn, three loops on our hook, pick up our yarn and pull through all three. And then in that same space we're going to do, you've got it, a half double crochet, a, a double crochet. Oh my gosh, what is happening to me today? Right, dizzy, dizzy, dizzy dory. Right, now then, so we've got a half double crochet and our double crochet into that space. So the next place we're going to go into is the next space along up the top here, which is this one here. And we're going to do two double crochets into that one or two trebles in UK terms. So in we go, two into there to form the right side of our petal. So one and two, like so. You'll be rattling these off before now and then so we've done our, our right hand side now what we need to do is we need to find the little top stitch there it is for at the top of our stem and that's where we're going to do our four double crochets in here to make our lovely little rounded petal so four double crochets into that top stitch so one and two Three. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. I'm going to pull my yarn. And the last one is for okie dokie. So there we have it. Now then, now we're going to be working down the left hand side of our petal now and like I said, this is much easier because we know where the stitches are. There's one here and you can see one there as well. So let's go on, go ahead. So we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch down. One. And two. Like so. And then little chain space that we made in the in the um, round earlier. We're going to find that. Here it is. Putting our hook into there. 
picking up our yarn from the back and pulling it through and then through the loop on our hook and there we have a little slip stitch into the middle and then we're ready to go on and complete our next um, petal. Do you feel confident to carry on? Shall we do one more together and then we can carry on and do it ourselves. So let's repeat that again then. So having a little look at our stem we have a little space here by the looks of it yes and then one here and then we can carry on. So picking up my yarn we're going to do a half double crochet first of all three loops and pulling all the way through our loop three loops and then we're going to do our double crochet into the same space excellent okie dokie now then let me pull this yarn again and then we're going to excuse me I'm going to have to answer my phone Hello, I'm back again. I do apologise. Rather than trying to um, edit this, I think I'd better, um, I'd rather just explain. My daughter has gone for the very first time, she is 10, nearly 11, to the city centre on her own with her friends. And so when my phone went, I was a little bit worried just in case, as all mums are, in case something went wrong. So I do hope that you could bear with me. And um, I'm sure I'll get some comments, <laughs> might, might not be too happy about that, but I do apologise. Okay, let's crack on. So we're on our third petal, we've done our two stitches in our first space on the right hand side and we're going to be working into our next stitch up. So in this little stitch space here, we're going to be doing our two double crochets. So one... into that space and one more into that stitch space to make two double crochets okay so I found my loop at the top of my stem and I'm going to do four double crochets into that so picking up our yarn and putting it into the stitch we're going to do two one, two, picking up a bit of speed now dudes, three, and one more, that makes four, okay, superb. Right, now then, we're going to be working in these next two stitches here, and we're going to do two double crochets into this stitch, and one double crochet and one half double crochet into this stitch. And the text for UK terms is just here. So in we go. So two double crochets, one, two, and then in the next stitch along, one. and then a half double crochet to finish that petal just there and then not forgetting to find our little chain space and we're going to slip stitch into our chain space like so right well we've done four of those petals now so we need to continue all the way around repeating that pattern all the way around and I will catch up with you when I get to my very last petal. Okay so I finished my tenth petal, I've just finished doing my half double crochet into the um, last stitch so now what I'm going to do is slip stitch into the middle single crochet here so a little slip stitch like so I'm going to snip my yarn and pull it through yay and put that to the back and there we have it one finished daisy here we are right so there we have it one finished ten ten petal daisy so when we did our eight petal daisy and our 
six petal daisy. Basically we repeat exactly the same thing but just not as many petals. It works exactly the same, just less petals. So what we need to do now is sew in our ends. So we'll get our yarn needle. As, as I've already worked in all my ends, I don't really need to worry about any of the other ends. I'm going to just snip the tiny little um, bits off there. I'm just going to sew in this end here. What I like to do with my daisies is to just because they're a hundred percent cotton, they're wonderfully versatile for just um, ironing them on a fair. I mean, not not a high high iron heat whatsoever, but to give them a little iron with a damp cloth, and they come up absolutely lovely. They're wonderful to wash as well. They sort of spring back into shape. I have backed my daisies before with um, felt for the coasters that I've done but I couldn't swear by how well they wash with the actual um, felt on. Okay so I'm going to snip that end off. Okay so there we have it. You can sit back now and admire your beautiful creation, your beautiful daisy creation. So why not try and experiment with various pastel colours or bold, vibrant colours if you would like. Um, I would be so thrilled if you would share your creations with me on www.facebook.com slash forward slash Craig with a capital C, Loves with a capital L, 2 number 2 and Crochet with a capital C. I also have a blog, obviously you know my YouTube channel, I've just started a blog up. And if anybody wants to buy any of my lovely daisies, then I will be putting them on my Etsy. I only sell the little bits and bobs that I make for tutorials. So, thank you very much for joining me. Happy, happy crochet. And I'm looking forward to sharing my next tutorial, which is going to be this wonderful little um, daisy coaster and its little coaster um, pot basket, bowl, whatever you would call it. And this is wonderful in all different colours as well. Right, thank you very much and toodle pip!